so I'm just gonna make a quick video on one of my favorite items in the locksmith industry and that is key boxes I know not very um, I guess exciting at least not for a lot of people but for me it is because I see guys who have pickboards and vans and it's really loud they're flexible they uh you know I don't like them they're not my um my first choice and when I was first kind of learning the ropes um all I would find were these and these are the America Key box things and they're super expensive at least they were the person who makes them no longer does so they are I guess obscure now this is the 250 count it has 250 hooks each hook holds about 10 keys and this one's missing a sleeve so it's only 200 and I don't like it. I, I probably would like it if I didn't know about the red ones, but we'll get to that. But the, um, the black ones, the metal seems to be more malleable. And if you look here, I was showing a friend uh, a demonstration of how many uh, key blanks these can hold compared to, you know, other boxes. Um, the 250 is my least favorite that I've ever owned, and I believe I've owned every variation. I've got the largest red, I believe. This is the medium uh, red. Um, I think I've got the smaller one in my van. And this is the small America box, and I've got the larger America uh, key box, the 500 count, in my van, which I actually do like it, the, the 500 because it's a square and not a rectangle. I tried rolling with this guy for a while. <clears throat> I tried rolling with this guy for a while and uh, I didn't, I don't like to bolt things down. I like to have my, my kits, like that's my safe kit over there. I just like to have stuff that I can just grab, pick up and move and transfer and go. So that's why I like these, you know, especially since they have a, a hinged lid. These you can, put a lid on I believe I don't know about this one it doesn't even have the uh, the metal curled over so that you can put a lid on it like I said least favorite but this one is currently going to be traded to uh, a person I know kind of from Facebook as much as you can know somebody you've never met um, I've already emptied it out as you can see, it has all the hooks. Like they're all, they're all there. They're not all fucked up or looking like this or anything. And um, as I was showing the guy who's getting this one, like this amount of keys doesn't fit on one of these hooks in this box. But. They will most uh, certainly fit on this one. It's really hard to get on this one handed. See? And there's still room for more. So the hooks are bigger. Uh, the steel is of heavier gauge. And so it's not as malleable. And that's why many of these hooks are still pretty uh, straight in line with each other. None of the hooks are completely fucked. And yeah, I just like it. They're smaller. Uh, the pages, I call these pages. They're smaller. So the box is not as tall, but you know, it's square. They did it right. So whenever it sits, it sits nicely. This one, uh, it's rectangular. It's a medium size, I believe. I also have the smallest. 
But as you can see, that one has a lid. This one has a hinged lid and it has a clasp to, uh, to close it. And I've just been kind of putting my overflow in it and it's turned out to be an awesome kit. So I've got two pages that are untouched. And I've got a motorcycle page with Yamaha, like 63, 64, uh, Suzuki. We got Harley, Kawasaki, uh, TMC for like the Buell and stuff like that. Morikawa, there's some Yamaha, Honda, right here, and there's some plastics. So not bad. Wide coverage already, and it's just like putting my overflow. Right here, I just kind of built a uh, foreign and domestic quick kit with some test keys and shells. Transponder keys and FM forwards and GM just to have a quick kit on the go. Then I put together a residential page. Schlage. These are all SC. Down here we have the quick set types. And I've got pre cuts that they keep on hand for a uh, quick reking, as you can see, slides in pretty well, lid, and these are so tough, um, I had that one probably for three or four years, and I've walked on it, I've put key machines on it, uh, I mean, I, oh man, I've thrown it, shit, this guy, like, I can stand on it, it's no big deal. You're not gonna damage them. This thing, yeah, you will. Um, you can see how thin the steel is. I mean, I can just bend it. So, yeah, I just kinda wanted to show off one of my favorite, um, I guess you can call it a tool. I mean, it does a job, it's got a function, serves a purpose. One of my favorite tools of the locksmith trade. So here are my other two boxes. Um, this is the medium box. And inside of it, um, I'm actually gonna pull it out because the little box that I showed previously, I actually like a lot more. Uh, this one's really basic. In fact, I'll probably just take everything from here and Transfer. Ugh, that's a heavy motorcycle one. So I'll probably just transfer everything over here. This is the biggest one uh, that you can get, basically. It's a 500, 500 hook box. 10 pages, 50 hooks on each page. And I love it. Again, it's got softer metal than the reds, but I absolutely love it. And you can't buy these new <clears throat> anymore unless someone has one and they just never used it. As you can see, it's very heavy once you load it up and it's actually affected my van's gas mileage and uh, drivability. <laughs> Motorcycle again. I definitely need to build it up. <laughs> Some foreign keys, Hyundai and Mazda and Mitts. so much key storage and that was just seven out of ten yeah there's a residential and uh, cabinet and padlock keys and I've got high security test keys and other shit in here so really you don't have to carry a lot to carry a lot if you know what I mean <laughs> 